I've avoided making this for a while, but I'll just say it, yes. Uh, numerous times this year, I have probably wanted to quit. Probably wanted to just take an extended break away from perhaps everything. <laughs> and if you're feeling that too right now in your career, I just wanna say it's okay. Now rest assured, I don't think I actually wanna quit filmmaking or YouTube or any of that. Although there has been some pretty tough moments this year for me. But I wanna give you guys some tips about how to make sure that you don't find yourself in this position where you're ready to throw in the towel and you're ready to quit. So my first tip, and I think this is why a lot of us are exhausted and I know personally it is for me. And I got this piece of advice from a good friend, Tyler. You guys have seen him probably over on Matty's channel a lot. And it's this, we overestimate what we can do in one day and we underestimate what we can do in a year. Now, why does this matter about why we're tired? If you're like me, I get up in the morning and one of the first things I do before I do a bit of reading or I do a workout is I begin making my to-do list. Sometimes I make it the night before. And next thing I know, I have a full page of what I think I'm going to accomplish that day. And in turn, what always happens is out of those 10, 15, 20 things that I write down, I might accomplish two or three of them. And the problem about that is I end up feeling defeated. Feel like I failed that day and I carry that stress over into the next day. But when I stop and look at the entire year that I've done, I begin realizing I've actually accomplished a lot. If you've been following this channel this year, you'll see that there's been some huge firsts for me, getting my first film onto a network like CNN, getting my first Vimeo staff pick of the month with Battleground, launching a new module on a documentary course, releasing a ton of other films. It's been an extremely exciting year when I look back at the entire scope of it. But then begs the question, why do I always feel like I'm not doing enough? And I think it's just that, that when I come back to these daily to-do lists, I'm leaving myself with the last thought every day that I didn't do enough that day. When in fact, I'm doing a lot over the course of a year. So I wanna encourage you, be kind with your to-do lists. I did that today. I said I was gonna come into the office, clean it up, and film a YouTube video. When in fact, I wanted to talk to my accountant, I wanted to work on the latest film, I wanted to transcode and upload the footage that I'm working on, I wanted to and, 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 I could go on forever. But just creating three things that I wanted to do today, well, I feel pretty successful, because I did it all. My next piece of advice, and this is something that's really beat me down hard this year, is that every project you take on, times the amount of effort you think it's gonna take. What's the problem? Math problem. By three, minimum. What I mean by that is every time someone approaches me with a film or a commercial, I think, hmm, yeah, that might be about a week of my time or maybe that'll take two or three months. The next thing I know, I'm spending three times the amount of hours, days, and even months in the case of some of my latest films before the project is ever even close to being finished. Now, this is why I always talk about trying to align your passions with your schedule. The film Clear Sky that Michael and I are working on, we're both very passionate about it. And so I'm okay that this project is going into its third year. But there's been other projects that have been on my plate that just seem to keep dragging on. And I wonder why did I start these when I wasn't so passionate about them even to begin with. So for you, if you're gonna take on a project, just make sure you overestimate in your own mind in the beginning how much effort you think it's gonna take. And then look at it and say, do I actually wanna work on this? If someone says, hey, we're just going out for one quick shoot day and then it'll just be a couple days of editing. Well, that's probably not true. There's gonna be pre-production, there's gonna be scouting, maybe the shoot doesn't work out, you have to go rent gear and then your edit keeps going on and before you know it, you spent an entire month on the project project when you thought it was just gonna be a simple week. I'm not saying be a pessimist, I'm saying be a realist because you have to be realistic with your time or else you're always gonna be giving it out and never receiving any rest. The last point I wanna talk about is something that my dad has always instilled me in and in fact, it's something that one of my favorite authors and communicators, John Mark Comer, speaks extensively about in his book, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry, which I highly recommend you pick up. That you need to work from a place of rest, not work to get to rest. If you find yourself frequently saying in your mind or to others or in your journal or just speaking internally, I just need to get this done and I can finally rest, it's a clear sign that you're overworking yourself or putting your energy into the wrong things. Now, sometimes there's clear deadlines. You need to get something done so the weekend can begin. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. But if you're finding overall in your career, you're 
always feeling like you're needing to do a little bit more work before you can rest. It means you're skipping rest all together. And rest looks different for every person. Rest for me means that before I begin my day, before I begin emailing or picking up my phone, I need to take some time to journal. I do a bit of prayer. For me, it's reading my Bible. It could be something different for you, but I take time to rest before I begin. Don't work to get to rest. Work from a place of rest. I challenge you before the end of this year, this next 60 days from the beginning of November to December, try and take a little time off before you begin projects. Get yourself in a good place. Rejuvenate yourself before you begin pouring out. Before you get on that conference call, take some time to do a bit of reading, meditation, prayer, whatever it is for you, so that you can take that energy, you can take that rest, that mindfulness into that next opportunity. If you're always saying, I just need to get this done and I can finally feel at peace, then you're working from a depleted place. And if you want help on realizing how to sort through some of this stuff, I did a great video about the stop, start, continue list. I did that at the beginning of last year. I'll put that link right around now. I encourage you to check that out because that's been such a helpful key task for me. I wanted to make this video today because I find sometimes us content creators look like we have our lives all together when in fact we can be running nearly ragged. And so I am trying to say no to more things and I am trying to work from a place of rest. And I'm often failing at it. <laughs> That's the truth. I'm not perfect at it and I would like to get better at it. But I feel great about today because I'm about to hit stop record on that camera and I'll have completed my checklist and I won't have added too much on and feel terrible about myself at the end of the day. Don't overestimate what you can do in a day but stop underestimating what you can do in a year. By the end of next year, you could have completed that film that you've always wished you did. By the end of next year, maybe you could have sorted through all your hard drives and uploaded all the stock footage that you have that you're not selling. It's a great way to make money. You know, there's a lot of time in a year and then there's a lot less in a day. I hope this video has been helpful. If there's any other roadblocks you're finding in your career, leave a comment below. I'd love to know how you are doing. I love engaging with you. You've been so encouraging for this channel and been a big reason why I keep making it. I also won't lie, I've been sitting here for two minutes trying to figure out how to end this video. I don't know what to say. Besides, I really appreciate you. You're doing better than you think and you should probably take a little more time off this week to think about what you want to accomplish over this next year and less about what you're trying to accomplish today. And I'll see you in the next one.